All right, some quick thoughts on the ASP or the retractable baton. Um, I'm a big fan of these. I like to carry them. Uh, you know, I like to throw one in my back pocket uh, and carry it around. Maybe if I don't have a firearm or don't have a knife on me, you know, I have this. You know, a lot of times I'll carry one in my door or my truck. Just so I have it there so I can grab it out and put it in my back pocket if I'm walking in the mall or something like that. Or whatever, you know. Uh, a lot of law enforcement security personnel carry these, you know, whether it be around on a duty belt or, or whatnot. I've even seen plainclothes personnel carrying them in, inside of like a shoulder holster carry position. So uh, that said, um, they're great um, for quick deployment. Like anything, I'm a big fan of making sure you train to what you carry. So whether that be a firearm and training your draw stroke and then also shooting skills on the range, you need to be doing that, understanding tactics and law, law surrounding all that. Uh, same with the knife, same with the retractable baton because this is just a tool and uh, it has its place. Uh, it's a little less deadly than a firearm per se, but it also can be very deadly at the same time. As you can see, it's, it's very similar to a, uh, what they call a collie stick or a raton stick, or the screaming stick or however you want to call it. This one, I like them, this one is 21 inches long. The raton stick is generally 28 inches long. I like it a little shorter because it makes it a little lighter. And versus, otherwise, if they get, you have the longer version of these retractable batons, they can be heavy. And it's more like a heavy stick, like an axe handle, which is fine. There's a, there's a, there's a whole training regiment to using heavy sticks and things like that. So you, you need to have those skills as well. But it's a whole different thing and a whole different movement. Not a whole different, but a, quite a bit of different movement when you're flailing a heavy stick or a, even a baseball bat or an axe handle than it is with a lighter stick. So that said, I like a little smaller one because it's a little lighter. It gives me the ability to, to be a little more elusive with it. You know, whipping it around, what they call a fanny motion, that kind of stuff. Um, so, and get those open equal shots in there, but I like it just for that reason. Also, it's again gonna be a little shorter when it's in its, uh, uh, buttoned up position so to speak because I can carry it in my back pocket throw it inside the waistband inside the waistband You know like I said have it there If you don't have a knife like I said or whatever guy maybe a guy pulls a knife on you I've actually had this happen. I was riding with my older two children I was years ago down the Boise Greenbelt riding along with my family and a, a homeless guy vagrant guy, you know uh, came out and he kind of it was aggressive towards my oldest daughter and I had to stop him and say, hey, back up. Luckily, it didn't come to any kind of a physical altercation. He backed down when I, when I got in his face and told him, hey, back up, leave my daughter alone, and didn't come to that. But uh, I don't even think I was probably even carrying anything back then. Might have had a knife on me at the time, but uh, anyways, that being said, that's another story for another time. But you never know, maybe you're there, maybe you're somewhere you're at the fair, you know, you have this in your back pocket, you're somewhere, you have your family with you, guy pulls a knife. Now we're talking about a deadly force situation. You know, as I back up, hey, 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 you know, I'm able to deploy this out quickly and, you know, in one stroke and deploy it and hit. Hit the hand, or what they call defang the snake in the Filipino martial art of Kali. Hit the hand, you know, hopefully disarming that and then following up with another shot or two to disrupt his or to discourage his further aggression towards me or my family or whatever. Uh, the idea is staying at long range or long range and just hitting that hand and then just fall up as need be. A lot of times on these ASP, the older ones, they didn't have any of this stuff. So it was, they would get worn out in use and use get uh, loose back in the nineties and they would just slide out when you're carrying them on you. But now they have what they call a, uh, I don't know what they call it, but it's a, it was a patented ver uh, little uh, clip and you can attention uh, pressure valve thing and you can adjust that and uh, you can make it so it's easier to to release or or not you can have it stiffer or looser as needed as you suited but uh, see even sometimes you get it set right and they do get sticky and stuff so that being said you got to train my point to that is sometimes I've had you train and you pull out and it doesn't go out you gotta flick it really hard it does it doesn't go don't panic realize that you do still have an impact weapon it's just a shorter stick now right so if I had to hit the hand if this guy did have a knife and I had to hit the hand with that that's better than being empty-handed and, and having to hit the hand you know you can deal with it that way and you should train that as well but knowing that if I did deploy this and for some reason it didn't go out or it failed to, to expand still you have an impact weapon that you can still use to disrupt this guy disrupt his OODA loop so to speak and then uh, get out of there and protect your family. So train it both ways. I like to train, I like to train stuff 
you know, that it deploys and I'm able to use it. I like to train stuff that maybe it doesn't deploy. Now I gotta fire off. It's no different than, I remember in wrestling practice, you know, our coach, Coach Laughlin, uh, he would teach, you know, you hit a, how to flow, right? So you hit a fireman's carry, boom, if it doesn't go, don't panic, just reverse to something else, you know? Reverse to a single leg, double leg takedown, whatever. Uh, you hit a single leg, it doesn't work, shift to a double leg, whatever, or an ankle pick or whatever. So, uh, understanding how to flow, and that's a big thing in the Filipino martial arts, or even Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do, just flowing from one thing to the other, boom, right? Being able to flow from weapons to empty hands, empty hands, and now I pull a weapon out, and I'm using that. So, again, train that, train that it, 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 it deploys, and train that it doesn't deploy, and now it's just an impact tool and just look at it as a shorter stick. And uh, it'll improve your uh, self-protection.